Welcome back to Totality Town, North Carolina. In this video, we'll take a look at the question of how to figure out the best places for viewing the total solar eclipse this August 21st. What you've probably already discovered is that everyone in the world seems to be saying that their town is the best place to view the eclipse. Usually, this is just marketing. Let's take a look at the factors which make a place a good viewing location. First, do you want to see a total solar eclipse, or are you content with a partial eclipse? Second, you'll need to consider the length of totality. And finally, you'll need to consider the weather at the location you're considering. Remember that solar eclipses are the result of the moon passing exactly between the Earth and the Sun. As that happens, the moon casts two different shadows. Everything within the large yellow circle in this animation is where the moon's outer shadow, the penumbra, passes. All observers within the penumbra will see a partial solar eclipse. Only a part of the sun will be blocked by the moon. A total solar eclipse is only visible from where the dark inner shadow of the moon, known as the umbra, hits the ground. As the moon moves in its orbit around the Earth and the Earth spins on its axis, the umbra traces out a thin path on the face of the globe. This is known as the path of totality. Here's a look at the map of the entire path of the eclipse across the globe. Remember that everyone outside of these blue lines will see only a partial eclipse. If you want to see a total solar eclipse, then you must be between the blue lines. So when you're considering factor number one, a partial solar eclipse versus total, the rule is get between the blue lines. However, not all locations between the blue lines are equal. Obviously, the best place to be is where the eclipse lasts longest. longest. The length of totality is ultimately based on the geometry of eclipses. The red line is the very center of the eclipse's path. The closer you are to the red center line, the longer the eclipse will last. A time map shows just how quickly the length of totality decreases as you move away from the center line. Notice how quickly the time decreases when you're near the outside edge of the path. This is the result of the shape of the moon. Viewers on the center line are under the widest part of the moon's umbra, meaning that the moon will block the sun for longer. Viewers near the outside are under a narrower part of the umbra, and their eclipse experience will end more quickly. Therefore, rule number two, get near the center line. Totality will last the longest in the place where the alignment between the sun, moon, and earth is the most perfect. For this eclipse, that location is just outside of Carbondale, Illinois. The most desirable viewing locations will be along the center line and fairly close to Carbondale. However, you can be hundreds of miles away from that location and still be within a few seconds of the greatest eclipse duration as long as you stay close to the center line. For example, Andrews, North Carolina, will experience up to 2 minutes and 38.8 seconds of totality compared to Carbondale's 2 minutes 40.2 seconds. That's a difference of a mere 1.4 seconds, even though these two towns are several hundred miles apart. Weather is the third major factor to consider when deciding where to go to view the total solar eclipse. Thanks to various eclipse chasers, there are maps which show the historical average cloud cover on the day of the eclipse anywhere in the nation. This allows us to easily see where skies are normally cloudy. Please note that these maps are not very specific when it comes to time. They consider the entire afternoon to be one time. As you can see, the places which usually have the least clouds on August 21st are out in eastern Oregon. Everyone east of the Mississippi, however, has a fairly similar chance of clear skies on Eclipse Day. But a few places are, historically, slightly better. Andrews is one of these places. We hope the information about these three factors is helpful to you as you make your plans for August 21st. For more information on events and coming to Totality Town for the Eclipse, please go to our webpage, wncsolareclipse.com, look us up on Facebook, 
at WNC Solar Eclipse 2017, or subscribe to the Totality Town YouTube channel. We hope you'll consider joining us on August 21st.